Today's episode is from the New York State High School Football Coaches Association Clinic this past February. In this segment, head football coach at Buffalo, Maurice Lindquist, shares how they implement their systems at Buffalo. I think this short segment is one you will enjoy. I think it's a good way to go about handling how you put things together with your staff every year because there's always those changes in staff, new guys come in, and he addresses some of that here. Coach Lindquist served a brief stint at Michigan prior to coming to Buffalo. Before that, he was with the Dallas Cowboys, and prior to the Cowboys, he was with Texas A&M. He's considered by many as one of the top young minds in college football. As I mentioned, this one is from the New York State High School Football Coaches Association Clinic, which is part of the state mega ticket. Coming up will be the New Jersey Football Coaches Association Clinic, and rounding things out for the year will be the Arizona Football Coaches Association Clinic. So check out all of these, uh, 10 clinics overall, hundreds of talks, something that definitely is useful for every member of your staff. Individual, group, and staff passes are available with replays for a year. For this one, go to nyshsfca2022.coachesclinic.com. That link will be in the show notes as well. This one was recorded live in New York at the Turning Stone Casino, and Coach was moving about the room, and our mics did pick up everything, but you will hear at times that his voice seems turned away from the camera, which it was, but bear with it. Some great information here in this short episode. So here's Coach Lindquist. Okay, where do I begin? What are we talking about first? Okay, so the first block, you know, is really for us as the adults, as the coaches, you know, we challenge our coaches and myself every day in terms of how do we teach? You know, how, what's our pro- progression in terms of how we teach and implement scheme and implement culture and implement everything that we do? Okay, so what's important? I think everything's important. As coaches, we got to figure out what's significant. What's important? Everything. I'm saying right now, everything. What's not important to you? Everything's important. But you can't emphasize everything, agree? Right? I'm acting like my players. You can't emphasize everything agree. Right? So you gotta decide what's significant. You gotta decide what are you gonna emphasize because you're gonna get what you emphasize. Okay? And you can't emphasize everything or you'll get nothing. Okay? So we believe in teaching conceptually. So when we start talking football with our team, the first place we begin is conceptually. If you almost think of it as like nameless, faceless, X's on the board, positionless football. Because when you teach conceptually X's on the board, it allows you to, number one, be multiple without being expensive. Okay? Like, I assume the the responsibilities of the X that I'm assigned to. I don't assume the responsibilities of the outside linebacker. Okay? If X is on the board, and every X on the board has a set of principles and concepts that are true to that X, we don't go on the board and start drawing up positions first. Right? We go on the board and teach conceptual defense. So when guess what? So first off, if I got two linebackers or five linebackers, right, you're gonna learn both spots. So I'm, it's always gonna allow me to play the next best player and not somebody's backup. Right? We don't play the backup, we play the next best player, or we play the next eleventh player so we can get the best eleven on the football field. Okay? So you teach conceptually first. Don't just go to the room and say, you know, here's the wheel linebacker. Well, because what happens to the other 10 guys when you say that? What happens? It's on up. It's not listening. Okay? So who, who am I talking to in this room? Everybody. Talking to every single one of you guys. That's the first place to begin. Talking to all you guys. It's going to allow me to play the next best football player. Okay? Teach the rule with the exception and teach your progressions. This is a big one. That you need these coaches, they know. This is, a, this is a pet peeve, it's itches my skin. Do not go on the board and give me a list of 12 things to do. You can't, even, you can't even learn it yourself without looking at a piece of paper. How are you gonna expect the guy to do it you know, in the heat of battle? So we teach you one, twos, and threes, we teach you A, Bs, and Cs, we teach the rule with the exception. This is what I want you to do unless this happens. This is how we communicate all of our defense, all of our offense, all of our special teams. Teach the rule. When the player walks on the football field, he needs to know what do you want me to do? Start there. What do you want me to do? Give him a starting point. It's the difference between, hey, 
If he does this, I want you to do this. If he does this, I want you to do this. If he does this, I want you to do this. Versus, this is what I want you to do. And if these two things happen, there's your exception, there's your exception. Teach the rule with the exception. And when I walk on a football field as a player, I know this is what you want me to do, and all I'm looking for is a specific set of exceptions to respond to. Can we see the difference? Okay? Teach the rule with the exception. Okay? We're teaching families. This is big. Make, make, just make the words make sense. Right? Don't call one coverage uh, uh, purple and the other coverage mashed potatoes. No, just teach in some type of conceptual family that is linked together. Use a car family. Use a weather family. This is, this is being able to digest information as a player. Okay? And we got to check our own selves first as coaches before we just start jumping down, you know, a 19 or 17 year old's throat in terms of him not being able to learn it. Okay? And then how and why. You know, the two most important words in teaching. Anybody can learn what to do. Do they understand how you want to do it? Do you understand why? Do they understand why? Really what we get into there, guys, is what we call commander's intent. You know, do they understand why you're telling them to do this or why they're in this call? Because, like, okay, coach, you want me to play man free. Why? Why should I press him? You're, you're on the sideline yelling at a guy to get closer. You need to scoot up. It's third and four. You need to get – well, he doesn't understand that. He doesn't understand the commander's intent. He doesn't understand that in third and four, I want you to press. Why? Because we're expecting some type of quick game route, so we want to challenge the battle for the sticks in the race space. So I'm doing all the yelling from the sideline right now, and it's a bad systematic approach. That's not on the player. It's on us. That's not on the player. That's on us as teachers. Okay? they got to understand commander's intent. All right? they got to understand what the strength of the coverage is and what the weakness of the coverage is. they got to understand when I put a safety in the middle of the field, where's the stress of the defense? Stress goes to about two places automatically as soon as I put a safety in the middle of the field. Do your players understand that? Do we, did we teach them the, the concept that way well enough? Okay? So when we, when we begin as a staff in our own room, before we get to the players, what we talk about, guys, is we teach all things offense first. Okay? You teach all, this is coach to coach speak right now. This is coaches in a room speaking to each other. We, if, you're, if you're talking about where do I begin as a staff, we begin with how we communicate concepts, formation identification, okay, terminology and language, okay, and play recognition amongst the coaches first. Amongst the coaches first. So we're not having, you know, the coach that came from this school and the coach that came from this school go into their separate corners. There's a breakdown in messaging and communication. I'm going to go and teach what's comfortable to me. You're going to go teach what's comfortable to you. And then they get on the football field and there's chaos and confusion. Let's talk amongst the staff first in terms of how we recognize what do we call this play and is it in a set of families that we can easily recognize so we can go teach conceptually to our, to our young men before we, ever, before we ever leave this room. Okay? Slow down. Take your time. Speak in families and make it make sense. Make it make sense. Don't rush out of that room, you know, and with as much time as we have, all right, or as little time as we have, if you got less time, do less. Do less, okay? But don't go out of that room and have breakdowns in communication that can get solved before they ever touch the players, okay? So <clears throat> we, we have these blocks that we use in terms of how we systematically build the entire defense and look for what we, what we look to accomplish, all right? And the first one that begins when we get on the field is with this word called play style. It's a big word. It's a loaded word. It's an extremely important word that we use. It's all over our buildings, uh, walls. It's all over our, our meeting rooms. It's on shirts. It's on wristbands. You know, we feel like everything when you hit the football field begins here. Okay, well, what do you want me to do, Coach? Don't worry about that. I want to tell you how I want you to do what I want you to do first. Okay? So, you know, you have to identify what that play style is like for you. And, and, you know what's true to your program, uh, but we we put it in, a, in a, some in some clear objectives in terms of how we want to play the game. Uh, we, we, we talk about toughness. You know, toughness is just simply guys like you know can you perform you know, to the upper range of your ability consistently regardless of the external factors. You know, can I perform a certain way regardless of external factors? Like guys, like tough players or like a tough player that gets you beat. All right, they get you beat. They'll, 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 they'll,
I'll get the guys out on the bus. I already did it. Prime me on. I already did it. I did it already this year. Prime me on. Like, cause we can't lack it. Okay? We talk about being smart. We talk about being disciplined. Look for the guys that love to compete. Those guys you can just kind of count on. Okay? And then, then we talk about playing connected and confident together. So before we ever talk about a scheme, before we ever talk about, well, coach, teach me how to play man. Let me tell you how to play football first. Let me, tell you how to, let me like let, this. Let me just see this pour out on film. Before I start getting to the con content of what I want you to know and understand, play style is a big, big, big word for us. How we play the game. How we play the game, all 11 on the football field. And do we have that relentless effort every single day? Then we get into this. Thanks again for listening to the Coaching Coordinator Podcast. Remember to check the link in the show notes in order to be able to register for the State Association Mega Clinic. Again, 10 clinics. Hundreds of talks, something for everybody on your staff. Follow me on Twitter at Coach K Grabowski and follow all we're doing at coachandcoordinator.com.